So, the first day of school. <laughs> that happened. Uh, as I said in the previous video, this is one of my favorite episodes. I'm going to tell you why. Um, basically, the whole premise of the episode is it's first day of obviously first day of school for both DJ and Stephanie. DJ is going, I think, into fifth grade, I think, in, in the, at this point, and Stephanie is just starting kindergarten. And while we don't see DJ's anxieties about it until the very end, we do get to see Stephanie being a little more anxious about it because she's just starting. She has no friends at school, or so she thinks. Um, you know, a bunch of people she's never met before, first time going somewhere away from her parents. Well, well, well you know, her dad. Yeah, you know, you, your basic, you know, first day of school jitters that five-year-olds tend to have. And that's a normal thing, and the show helps deal with that. While putting this into a frame of three guys trying to raise three daughters. Um, and of course, Stephanie freaks out. She tries running away a couple of times. She tries playing sick. All the classic stuff so she can stay at home. And at the end... It ends up being DJ helping convince her to stay in class, and this was after DJ herself tries to run away because she was put in the smart class and away from her best friend, Kimmy Gibbler, who we finally see in this episode. <laughs> uh, but uh, but it, it turns out that DJ was able to use the advice Danny gave her, and you know they, they managed to do it. And um, a couple of reasons I like this episode. One is because DJ is, you know, she starts here showing being a little bit more competent in helping, you know, in helping uh, Stephanie come to terms with some things, come to grips with some things, talk to her about some things, more on her level that her dad couldn't do it or Jesse or Joey couldn't do, um, which I, I think is a good strong point. Um, and I, I have to admit, the bathtub scene. <laughs> the bathtub scene with Jesse and Joey. They're giving Michelle a bath, and the girls know. That it's, it's like the show hung a lampshade on it before lampshade hanging was a thing. The girls came in to watch Joey do something stupid. <laughs> well, he is wearing scuba gear and, and the life vest. I don't know why he's doing that in the bathtub. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's going for the things like, Comedians are silly. They don't know any better. <laughs> I don't know. That might have been what they were going for. Or it could have just been Joey. You know, Joey being Joey. Um, and, I'm, and I'm more subscribing to Joey being Joey because there have been other comedians on the show. We'll, we'll get to them. And they're more normal than the, in comparison to Joey. So, yeah. <laughs> and no mention of the imaginary brother from last episode, by the way. There's just none. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, but you know they they clean Michelle they they give her the bath and Jesse and Joey they 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 start having their bonding moment where the two of them start their little you know thread about becoming best friends and then eventually business partners and everything and uh, it all it all starts right here bonding in the tub over their dreams and how they learned what what well what do they want to do in life you know Joey talking about how he wants to make the make the world happy and, and, and or at least make people happy and Jesse wanting to bring the you know, the gift of music to Elvis yeah, good Elvis person at all yeah I, I, I don't have it um, I used to practice but not really so much anymore um, and uh, and they decided to sing love me tender to Michelle which take note of this it'll come into play a lot 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 later. Um, but as they're singing, they start to get into it a little bit much, where it seems like they're almost falling for each other. <laughs> and then Danny comes in. Uh, it's clear I'm interrupting something. <laughs> I need to go take the baby, go to bed. Uh, but as Jesse put it, you know, they just finished Love Me Tender, did a, did a medley of Viva Las Vegas, got the hell out of the tub. <laughs> Which is another thing, if, if you've only been exposed to Full House from, like, season four onward, or what have you, there's some mild cursing in these episodes, which, again, if you've been exposed only to the later stuff, might you might find it a little jarring. I don't know. Um, because there's hell and damn and all that being thrown around. Not, nothing heavy, but it's enough to be like, wait a minute. <laughs> this was 
Was this a kid's show? No, it was a family show. In the strictest sense of the word, something for the whole family. The whole t bathtub scene obviously meant for more for the adults. Of course, you know, the looks, you know, the kids can get a laugh out of the looks. They don't understand why. They just know it's an awkward situation. The adults know why it's awkward, you see. <laughs> One of the first mistaken for gay moments in the entire show. And there will be more. And I, I admit, I kind of like the way they're written. It's like, it's like you know, the, the, at least in Danny's case, I, I don't think he was homophobic, or at least he didn't realize he might have been. It could have been just, oh, I'm interrupting something. I wouldn't be surprised if it was kind of the same thing if it was a male and a female. That's, that's how I'm feeling. Um, I don't know. I, I might be, I might overanalyze it. I might be overanalyzing it right now and somebody's yelling at the screen, it's just a show, just shut up and enjoy it. <laughs> Which, you know, whatever. Um, I do like that the men all got into song, singing the girls off to school. That's, that's, I, I, they're over dramatic, and the girls have the right expressions. And this is like, what the fuck are you guys on? You know, they're not in, they're they're not endeared by it. They're not freaked out by it. They're just like, why, why, what, what the hell? Uh, very, oh, very dramatic trio of guys there, uh, which I always thought was a nice selling point. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the school. Stephanie claiming all three of the guys to be her daddy and the teachers. Like, what the fuck? That poor teacher was probably very confused. And, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> just, it, it's, it's a good, good, solid episode. And again, like I said, it's one of my favorites. I, I could gush about it for way too long here, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I did notice something else at the end. Something I'm surprised I didn't notice sooner. Apparently, uh, between, you know, while, while Stephanie was having her talk with DJ, well, somewhere between then and, you know, the time Danny left the room to go chase after DJ, they decided to play uh, Pin the Tail on Jesse. I never noticed that before. It's like, wait, wait, what? How? When? Where? How did we not hear a scream from Jesse? <laughs> uh, well, that's TV magic for you. Uh so yeah, um, I, 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 I could gush about this a little longer, but um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to. I want to keep these relatively short. Uh, so um, when, next time I see you guys on this, uh, it'll be, uh, was it, Grandma's Home or The Return of Grandma, I think it is. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be another one of those, this is going to, next one's going to be one of those early installment weirdness episodes. You'll understand why. Uh, so, that, that's about it. Signing off.